Good morning, everybody. Grandpa Adler Farms. I am getting a later start today because it has been raining. It was a monsoon starting about 2.30 this morning. And one thing I will not have to do is get any animals any water. That's kind of what it looks like this morning. There's the sod. It did turn brown, but that's kind of normal because it uh, kind of goes dormant. Sometimes you put that down, I think it'll pretty sure it'll come out of it. But yeah, in fact, right now, the wind's blowing and I'm trying to catch, I'm sure the animals are hungry and I'm trying to catch going and feeding them in between more rain that's coming. I'm supposed to do this, I guess, pretty much all weekend. And it is dark down here in the, in the canopy. You can see here, we've even had water. That's water running along the trail here even washed dirt down here. I mean, it has it has been a big rain, but it's sprinkling now, so I'm going to try to get this in real quick. Hope everybody's weekend's gotten started out pretty good. You know, we needed the rain. It's okay. It's been pretty dry. Three weeks ago, I was crying because we got too much rain. You know what? It's starting to rain again now. I don't know if I can pull this off or not without getting soaked. You know, you want to get these guys fed. At the same time, you don't want to put it out and uh, everything just get soaked. Let's get the gate open. I have no doubt everybody's hiding. Now the turkeys, everybody actually, actually everybody can be fed and the food will be dry. The turkeys and the chickens are probably okay because theirs is under the tarp. Yeah, in fact, they're they're eating. They're eating right now. Do the best we can. They're all hollering though. Bless your heart. I know, Smoke. Hi, girl. I know. How are you, honey? It's okay. Okay. Let's get everybody fed and then. Woo! It's gonna come down again. I know, guys. It's all right. Let's get this done. We'll get you taken care of. It's okay. Hang on. I know. No, you can't get in there. Let me block you off. I got to block him off. So he can come in there. Well, it's going to be a challenge today, but you know what? That's part of having a farm, isn't it? You got to do it whether it's rain or shine. Animals got to be fed. Here we go. Here we go. Here's your food. Come on. I'm going to throw this back here underneath this tarp. Oh, come here, guys. Here. Come here. Woo! Let's get this back in here. All right, let's drive back in there. You guys do the best you can. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get soaked. I knew it kind of kind of happened though because this smoky scent. I want to put some inside the turkey pen or inside the turkey pen. Inside the doghouse. Keep that from getting that won't get wet. We get these pigs fed. Come on, look at this. I'm gonna call it good. Smokey, honey, you need to go. Go get your doghouse, honey. Yeah, go on, go hide. Get your doghouse, there you go, go on. There she goes, good girl. Oh, my lands. Whew. Han, he's inside his. I'm not even sure how this video will turn out, but we'll put, there you go, buddy. Apparently the camera has a water sensor or something to keep shutting off on me. Let's put this inside your house, Mom. Or, uh, Princess Leia. Come here, sugar. Come here, let's get in here. Let's put this in here. There you go. Come on, get in there. Get in there. All right. She's good. Woo! It's raining. Hang on. Hang on, Lola. Hang on, I want to try to keep this food getting exposed to the water. What we want to do now for these guys, I've got to dump this. I gotta go put this in their in their house. I'm already wet. I ain't gonna melt. I ain't gonna melt, am I? Huh, Miss Lola? Pinky pigs. 
Boy, if you like mud and you're a pig, you're good today. Here we go. Here. Get in there. Go eat that. The food's in there. Go get it. They're going in now. Now they're going in. I apologize for the quality of the video, but this is... This is a bit of a challenge. I'm going to go ahead and dump this out. I'm going to put some in here. Then I'm going to set that in here for them. That'll give them plenty to eat. Here we go. Watch out. Get that in there. Move your bottom. Move your butt. They can eat out of that too. So. You heard of the old drowned rat? That would be me. Earning my farmhand status today. Life goes on. Isn't it great? Ain't it great? Let's see, the pigs have been fed. Chickens are fed. It's dry. Goats have been fed. Oh, by the way, me and Grandma are going to work on something later on today in the garage that we're going to film. Kind of a two-part video. It's something that I'm pretty excited about, and so is Chad. I sent him a little something that me and Grandma are going to do together, and uh, we'll do that later on and make this part of this video. I'm going to give these guys... Ooh. Here, all right. Gonna... I think they're bringing everybody's... You guys got food down here. I'll give you a little bit more. I don't think you... Okay, everybody good? I'll be back down later on, check on you, but... At least you got food, okay? Then you got Magneto and the ladies. For some reason, they're still out there. I'll throw some scratch out there. I'll throw some scratch out for them. Hope that, I don't want this to get all wet. Apparently, they don't care about the rain, so. Here, guys, here. All right, there you go. She's in the doghouse. Hi, honey. And I know she's got plenty of food. You're good. Oh, how y'all doing here? They got food? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Let's push this, make sure this is back. There's water running right there, but at least this is, it's damp, but... That's pretty good. Go on back, Smoke. Go on back now, you don't need any of that, okay? I'm gonna need chicken food. Okay, you go lay down. Go on. Go back, Grandpa. We'll be back later. I only saw one, Jenny, but I may have heard another one out here hollering. Kiddo, you got to get back to your go back to your doghouse. It'll quit raining here in another couple of hours, and I'll be back. All right, I'll be back in a little bit after a while. As far as the beefy boys and Wilma, I saw Wilma out earlier. It was raining. She's just walking around. Yeah, I hear the other Jenny. Hear it? I think that's it. Anyhow, yeah, here's our little trail, boy. You can see how much it's rained today. If you've been following Chad at the other house. If he, you know, he moved into his new place. So thankful he's not at the old place now because you can imagine what his crawl space would look like. It would be horrible, flooded, the, dr the, the garage, everything. So God got him out just in time. Just walk in the rain. This is it, rainy day. And I'll go down and take care of, in fact, I can see Wilma down there now. She's out rolling around. She don't care. Beefy boys, they're out there. Little rain don't bother them. I'll let it slow down a little bit because Wilma's got lots of grass to eat. She can graze out there. She'll be fine. Has subsided. It's lightened up a little bit. It's about 45 minutes since I ended that last video. So we're going to go down now and take care of Wilma and the beefy boys. In fact, look, you can see, hold still, there's Wilma. The beefy boys are still hiding somewhere under, maybe somewhere under a tree, they're out roaming around. Went in, changed your clothes, combed my hair because I went back and watched the video that I made down there. I looked pretty gnarly. What? What? You're ornery. You're ornery. And just so you all know, you know, we talk about how they, how her and the beefy boys hang out. This is the corner right here 
the house is here. This is the corner. Where, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You playing? Are you playing? <laughs> but every night, every night, maybe around 7, 7.30, she comes out here and lays down. What? Are you playing with me? Huh? We're going to go. Okay, I see you. What? What? <laughs> are you on me, little thing? Just go feed me, Grandpa. Quit talking. Anyway, the beefy boys will come over here and they'll lay right here. And she lays right here. She gets down on all fours right on the belly and they all just lay there and they'll sit there for an hour and hang out. So she's, she's, she's good for company and we're down here a couple times. All right, let's go eat. All right. Well, you've been rooting down here. I know. You're going to knock me down. Don't knock me down. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, that's a that's a five-star swimming hole right there, girlfriend. And I have put four times I put peanut butter on that nipple, folks. In fact, I leave a jar of it down here. See, there it is, peanut butter. But I still have not. Oh, wait. Oh, look at here. Look at that. Oh, Grandma's marshmallows. Want one? One marshmallow? There's marshmallow right there. You get it? She likes them marshmallows. See, that's not so bad. You throw it over here, throw it the other way. And I've said before, I always leave. There's 10 gallons of water right here. There you go, here's some. Where's your brother? What's he doing? Come on. All right, look out. Get excited. Get excited. I don't know if this has ever happened to y'all, but I went to the feed store yesterday, or just to the store in period, any 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 store, and she checked me out. And I had a bottle of this fly spray sitting up on the counter. I finished paying. She goes, sir, would you like that in a sack? I said, no, ma'am. I'll carry it. Guess what? Sitting on the counter, and I left it on the counter. Spray you down a little bit. So now I get to go back today, and uh, it's okay. You're okay. Settle. There we go. Everybody good today? Okay. Right on the nose hole. Pick it up. I'll take the receipt and hopefully they'll remember. Everybody happy? Good boys. You're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking good. Back over the fence. Oh, it's a little anxiety every time I come over that, but works out. If it touches your clothes, it don't zap you. Pet Miss Wilma for just a little bit more because I had to come down here and make sure Honestly, I was coming down here to make sure them beefy boys, I was coming down here to make sure them beefy boys where they're supposed to be. A deal, wouldn't it? They got out, but they were here. Fence is good. This heavy rain. Oh, you know what I wanted to show you? Hang on, let me run down here. I seem to be running every video now, but these, if you watch some past videos, and I showed these blackberry, what I... I looked it up, said sawtooth blackberries. You know what they actually are? Look here. Let me show you something. They're not blackberries. They're raspberries. They're raspberries. See? Those are not blackberries, folks. I don't know. I don't believe, I don't care what that app says. Those are raspberries. Even the leaves. When you look at them online, I looked them up. Say they're raspberries. I mean, they can be raspberries, so I don't know. But anyway, watch this. I didn't wash them. Oh, those are raspberry. Clear as bell. Mm -hmm. There's more there. But all up and down here, I showed before in a video, if you're new here, the, the, what we thought were blackberries. And some of you said raspberries, so it was kind of a toss up and I looked it up on the app it said sawtooth blackberries I thought okay well finally they bloomed so every day I've been coming down and eating some of them and uh, they're uh, they're raspberries for sure so that'll put a into that but yeah those are them are raspberries I didn't get to those those got a little hot yesterday so let's see I can come down later on these will be, these red ones in here will ripen up. I just eat them right off the vine. That's good stuff. I could have a combination. 
either way. I've been a fit and I like either one. There she is. She comes to me now. Come here. Come here, little girl. Come to me. Come here, you know. Come here, you know who it is. Come here. Hi, Wilma. Hi. Aren't you pretty? You know. Come here. There you go. Hi, sugar. Huh? Did you get wet? I saw you out here playing. I saw you out here just playing. Playing in the rain. Oh, big stretch. So hi, everybody. Woo. You're not me over. <laughs> Listen, what happens when you get to be like, you know, big, big, boy, big wake? Hey, come on, let's go get some more. I know what you want. I think you want a little more food. Come on. Come on. He knows what to do with them. Get them. All right, this is like the fifth time I've done it. Put more on there. All right. Now everybody's fed. Everybody's happy. Now she'll follow me again. And I go up here to the corner. Now here it looks. See, there's the beefy boys. You see, they're over there. They're over here. Come on, you want to see the boys? Come on, see your buddies. Yeah, I brought Wilma. I brought Wilma with me. So every, every night, this is what they do. They come out here, they lay down, and they talk to each other and hang out. You guys behave. Don't cook anything up. All right? See ya. And there they are. As promised, me and Grandma are going to work on a project together. And it's something the company sent Chad. See if you can guess what it is before I tell you. These are all the parts and pieces that came in two different boxes. Grandma is the organizer. She's laying it all out right now. Parts, are, parts are numbered? Are they numbered? Pieces are described, so we should be good to go. Okay. So when Grandma and I, Grandma and I work as a team, uh, she usually reads instructions. I'm the laborer. And it says, how long is it supposed to take to put together? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Everybody believe that? Raise your hand. But we won't put you no. through all 45 minutes of it. Oh, we're not going to. I want them to watch every minute of us putting this together. When Grandma and I put something together like this, uh, you know, y'all saying how sweet I am and, and how good a dad I am and how good a husband I am, and how, how lucky Grandma is. You may take everything back once you see this video. I'll show so, you that part. Oh, we, oh we're going to cut that out? <laughs> I don't want them to know the real truth. We're keeping it real. No, keeping it real. No, we, huh? we don't want to be that real. <laughs> we don't, not going to be, <laughs> Grandma doesn't want to be that real. All right, so anyway, I'm going to set the camera up. We will film a little at a time. Don't worry, it's not going to be a 45 minute video of us. You know, putting this thing together because it's and it's funny. It says all you need. What what is it? What do we need, Grandma? Screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and a drill. Oh man, that that I tell you, this is going to go so well that it's it's going to be funny. She's laughing. We're already starting out, Pinocchio. <laughs> I'm not going to Pinocchio. She called me Pinocchio. Are you all going to take that? Everybody, you know this last. Everybody says we want Grandma on there more. We want Grandma on there more. So here she is. She's the star of the show today. I tell you what was a chicken coop I did in chicken coop. Forty-five minutes, uh, give or take. Uh, it went pretty well, but I'm going to turn around here and show you what we did. This is the original chicken coop that we built right here. Now Chad is going to put a link 
as to where to get this. See, it came with, came with everything. Got a little ladder, a little ramp to go up. This opens up. Um, so you come around here. There we go. This opens up. Got the latches. This is your tray that all the, the chicken stuff goes on in. You can put straw in there. And this will be a, uh, a clean out. That whole tray comes out. And this is uh, the two nesting boxes. Again, that's where your straw would go. And those two little sticks in there where they can roost at night. Those come out. Two nesting boxes. And for our nesting boxes, we're going to do what old Jason at Cog Hill did and get those ones you can wash out. This unit, this part of it right here comes with casters. And it's pretty lightweight. That can be picked up from that end, and then you can roll it and move it around. But what we got in addition to that, this is a another uh, run. another run. What is it? About seven foot, seven about seven foot run. And it's got a door here, and a door over there on the other side. Two roosting sticks. You can attach that to that permanently but you have to remove some doors and so forth to do that we didn't want to do that we kind of just are, are winging it a little bit uh, so what we did is we built this separately and we actually opened on the, by the way this is uh yeah, leave yeah we'll leave that open yeah, we'll have to, yeah and that uh can you can uh shut that hang on there you go sideways shut that door at night you know the coop door if you need to. Fenced yeah, it's all fenced in. This will be all closed up, so I, I don't think we'll need to shut that. Now, so what we decide to do, pick this up, all right, ready? Mm -hmm. it's re everything's really lightweight. I can open that door, don't I? Yes. So we open this door. This may not be what y'all want to do. Chose, so what we do, we open up this door, and we open up this door in here, and so now you've got a hole, if you can see it, right there. And they can come in and out of either area. This lifts up, has a little lock here. So you have access to this. And again, they've got two more roosting sticks, roosting places to roost, I guess. That locks. You can get in here, this door unlocks. They sent all the latches, all the screws. It really wasn't that difficult to put together. And this is actually, is this a, like a... Asphalt, yeah, like an asphalt thing here. That's even got a little lock on it there. So overall, you know, I mean, I don't know how many chickens you can get in there. I can't, but you know, I guess four, four or five, I don't know. We're going to put enough in there to get fresh eggs. But you know what? I kind of like that, honey, don't you? I think it's kind of cool. And we've got it out here. You know, here's the garden. And man, we got some good rain last night and the corn and the, everything we saw. Uh, what is that over here, squash? Hang on, zucchini. we got to show them. Zucchini? Is that zucchini? Is there one in there? Yeah, there, there's one right there. I saw one somewhere over here. Uh, summer squash. Summer squash, okay. But man, I tell you, that rain hit, and I don't, I don't, what is this? I have no idea. Do we know? We have a zucchini somewhere. Oh, what's here? What's that, honey? Maybe that's it. Zucchini squash. Zucchini squash, okay. We don't even know. I guess, are they growing underground? But no, they grow above ground. I guess they're in there somewhere. Chad's taters. Hey, these green beans, look what they're doing to vine. Do they need to be, I need to look that up. Do they need to be, uh, look, at, they're on the corn. Whoa, 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 dude. Oh, man, they're, they're, <laughs> they reached over there and got the corn. Oh, man, what's that movie, uh, where those things, you know, grew the vines. Jack and the Beanstalk? No, not Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> well, they call those things were that scary movie, and they, they, they turned people into weird stuff. Uh oh, look, we got corn down. Hey, I'm gonna take some dirt. Hang on, we can't have that. Yeah, I'm gonna get some dirt and, and get that shored up around there. Yep. Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> Listen, again, if we can. They're all yelling. It's squash. It's squash. Well, I, yeah, it's, I know. They all know. Y'all, y'all know. I could take a picture of it, but hey, I'd rather kind of wonder. I like surprise these too. These are peppers. Peppers. I do know Those that. are peppers. Yes. Yeah, and then I got our candle or our, our, our watermelon. watermelon and a pumpkin. Pumpkin. Big pumpkin. 
those are our, these are the pear tomatoes. These are going to be, look at that. They're already kind of shaped like little pears. They're called chocolate pear tomatoes. So I'm looking forward to have some tomatoes that taste like chocolate and look like pears, or they taste like pears and look like chocolate. I'm not sure. Golden King of Siberia tomatoes. Yeah, those are awesome. And then these are, what are these? I don't see anything growing on there yet. These are uh, big yellow zebras. Oh man, zebras and chocolate pears and tomatoes from Siberia. Man, you can't get any more special than that. Okay. Anyhow, there's a chicken coop. Grandma, she's done. Are you done? You're too hot. She got hot. She got to get some ice water. All right, there's a chicken coop. We're going to put some chickens in there. So me and Grandma got something to do. You know, I'll come out here and be the chicken tamer, chicken whisperer. I'll have to get Mary Carl's advice from Cog Hill about the chickens out here, how to be friends. We're going to leave it that. We're going to leave it at that. Big adventure for the day, right? That's all done. done. It's all rosy gingerbread. <laughs> She's not used to the heat. She don't go out and She's smarter than I am. She stays inside when it's hot, and I go outside and play. But we got the animals taken care of, even though it rained. Everybody's happy. We built the chicken coop, and we're happy and glad that's behind us. But it uh, went really good. So now what we do is we get us some chickens. I so, know where there's a farm real close where we could just steal some chickens. Hey, that's right. We'll go steal some chickens. Shh, don't You're feeding them anyway. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, don't, shh, don't tell them. Um, all right, that's it. I think we're done. Until next time, thank you everybody for watching. See ya. Appreciate y'all. We're not ready for that. Oh, sorry. Okay, she takes that back. No, no, see ya. Okay. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Appreciate y'all.